It is interesting to note that we did the e blocks from two sources from Government of Ghana sources and from World Bank sources. Okay. We did everything with the World Bank. And in fact, finally, you, you will even find, if you get the figures, that in some cases, even our costs were lower than World Bank costs. So because we, had, we were working with the World Bank, and they were also interested in the loan they were giving mm -hmm. us, and the uses to which we were putting them, talking about inflation affects them too. And I'm not sure if uh, that is what exactly happened. We did the costing with them. In fact, at some point, they even sent us an expert from DC to come and help our quantity surveyors. So we all agreed on the, on the cost. Okay. There will be variations because sometimes it depends on the distance. It also depends on the state of the land. If uh, somebody has to, I don't know, build a road, if somebody has to fill some land to make it even, whatever it is. But all of these were studied and the margins were determined. So I'm not sure about it being uh, inflicted <laughs> and, uh, in villages where there, there's no use. We have a youthful population. So every year we have more people than uh, the year before. Mm -hmm. And education also helps with democracy, it helps with social equity. If you cite all the schools in the cities, you inconvenience those in the rural areas. We did a lot of homework before the sites were chosen. According to the act that established the district assemblies, each district must have a secondary school. Mm. And I think the districts are set up, it's not the ministry that does it, I'm not trying to pass the buck, <laughs> but the districts are done with population in mind. So uh, when we started, we prioritized the districts, new districts were created by both governments. We prioritized the districts that had no secondary schools. And in choosing where the schools should be cited, it wasn't the priority of the ministry as such. Okay. We could only make suggestions because the ministry didn't have land. So we had to work with the district or municipal assemblies or whatever the case might be. They will go to the chiefs who own the land and they will tell us that in terms of the, of the space you want, this is where the land would be. We also looked at the distribution of, of junior high schools in the area, okay? And all of these went into the siting of the schools. The focus was on community, uh, community day schools for the reason that if you looked at any child's bill, you'll notice that the, bo the boarding fee was the highest. And that was also a reason that somebody might or might not go to school. We argue that yes, it's nice for everybody to be in boarding school, but that wasn't a good reason why you shouldn't go to secondary school at all. I was thinking that insofar as the person has been able to go to um, a, a day junior high school, it's still secondary. The junior high school is secondary education. Mm. So you've done half as a day student. It ought to be possible for the same person to complete it in the day system rather than not go to school at all. And it's not just a boarding fee, it's a trunk, it's, you know, it's all the preparation that the parents must make, provisions and so on. And all of these were prohibited to a lot of our people. Therefore, the plan was to try to remove the cost barriers to, uh, to um, senior secondary education. And that explained why it was in a day school, why we thought of day schools first. Mm. Yes.